Hey, what's up guys? I'm TPV Robinizer. Today I am bringing you guys my uh, MPC draft analysis. So, this league I'm an analyst for, and uh, week one and two are already done with. However, a coach had to drop, so I am an analyst and a coach now. And uh, I got, like, my favorite team. <laughs> It, it was the one I rated highest in the draft analysis, and it's overall a really solid team. So uh, you guys are going to be getting double uploads on uh, on Saturday, where I'm going to have the SBL Team Builder and the MPC Battle. And uh, today, like uh, I've decided that I'm going to put the MPC Team Builder on Fridays. I will also, uh, like, analyze my first two matches to reveal the record. I did not play them, but I will analyze them, and maybe we'll see some stuff we can do with the team. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, the first round pick was Tapufini. Fourth pick overall, I think? No. It, it was really high in the picks. Tapafini, uh, I have it in the SBL. It is a defensive monster. Uh, you could run it offensive. And it has, yeah, it's overall just a really solid mon. I love it. Misty Surge means uh, you can't get status, which uh, I like. However, it does not work well with my next pick. So, uh, yeah, Tapafini, uh, Calm Mind. I brought that a couple times. Nature's Madness, Coverage, it gets Taunt. It's, it's got a lot of stuff. It's definitely got a lot of stuff. Um, oh, it gets withdraw. What? Or just a random ass move. Alright. Raise our defense. Alright, so Tapufini. Def defogger, though. That's the main thing um, about it on this team is the defogger. Alright, next pick was a uh, Thunderous Eye, which I uh, love. Uh, this mon is overall just really solid. Um, Prankster, uh, Thunder Wave is so good for my team. Like, it is so good. It just brings Hydreigon, Metagross, and Darmanitan, which are the next three picks. It makes them so, like, terrifying threats. And then. Defiant, in case I want a hazard stack to, uh, raise the my uh attack and uh get the plus two boost from defog um this thing can t like it can be a support thunder wave tailwind taunt i lied it doesn't get tailwind thunder wave taunt um it can be set up with nasty plot we have volt switch and u-turn um we got decent physical coverage. We got knockoff, superpower, crunch. Um, overall, a uh, really solid mon. It is also fast. It's got 111 base speed. So um, I am happy about that. This team overall isn't too fast, but uh, this, this mon really helps with that. Next up, Hydreigon. So uh, the monster. It's a dragon dark type, so we have a dragon type now. Um, 125 special attack with Draco Meteor is great. 98 speed, it doesn't uh, get to base 100, but it is pretty fast. Um, mainly a special attacker, however, it has a 105 base attack and it gets, it gets good physical coverage. U-turns and headbutt superpower... Uh, <laughs> Stone Edge, Outrage, Ice Fang, and Head Smash. We're bringing Head Smash one week. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah. Hydreigon. Metagross. Metagross is... <sighs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, Metagross, I also have this in the SBL. It is overall a really uh, solid mod. It's got a 
it's it's just it's got great attack and defense with decent HP and decent special defense meaning it's it's a tank it takes a lot of hits and then can hit really hard back with like meteor mash and Zen headbutt it can also explode earthquake it's a rock setter uh, you can pursue with it it's overall a really solid mod steel psychic typing is good offensively um, yeah it's it can't get intimidated overall it's pretty solid I picked up a physical attacker which uh, well I didn't pick it up the original coach picked up a physical attacker after you know three special attackers um, yeah it works really well with uh, tornadoes because that speed control 70 is it's not so slow that it can't utilize the thunder wave but it's not super fast all right Darmanitan very similar mon to Metagross offensively excuse me um, 140 attack compared to Metagross is 135 but this thing gets a uh, life orb sheer force with uh, like <clears throat> with oh my god what what is it uh rock slide it gets rock slide then headbutt a couple fire moves it's overall just uh solid um it gets belly drum we're never gonna bring it but it gets it um let's see yeah it, it gets taunt will o wisp a couple weird tech moves probably won't come often because this thing is just offensive but uh it is a nuke if with the thunderous speed control I could just run this choice banded with uh 140 attack flare blitz and do work um yeah overall a really solid mon I like it alright decidui this is the first mon on the team that I've never used. I've never used a Decidueye ever. It's a defogger. That's all I know about it. It's Spirit Shackle. That's its like a uh, special move. Um, yeah, prevents them from switching out. So you could Spirit Shackle and then Sword Dance on a weak Pokemon. Oh, U-turn. I like so far on this team. It's got half like four Mons that can U-turn which I love. I love U-Turners. I prefer slow U-Turners, but uh, overall, I do like it. We got Haze to stop the setup. Um, we can be... We've got a Leaf Blade, which is good physical grass stab. We got Nasty Plot and Sword Dance. Synthesis, Toxic. We can be uh, bulky or offensive. This, overall, it's a really solid mon, but uh, I, d I don't know much about it. Um... I don't know much about it at all so we're we're just gonna move on to the other half of the team so this team um, this half of the team is the definitely the weaker half however it's got some threats so we have Zygarde 10% uh, this uh, I, this is the third mod on the team that I've had that I have in the SBL um, this mon, it's very one-sided, however, the one thing it does, it is so strong at, just like, choice banded e-speed, thousand arrows, is so good. Um, it's fast. Like, this, this part of the team, like, uh, the speed tiers are still not great, but we do have a couple fast mons, which I am, uh, very happy about. Uh, this could be a Dragon Dance Sweeper if I wanted it to be. However, I don't think I will have it as a Dragon Dance Sweeper. Overall, one-sided, just a physical monster, but that's about it. It also gets Haze. And uh, this is... I did not get to pick my Z-Mons because of this co the coach uh, was someone else originally. So I have Z Zygarde 10%. Which uh, I am not too happy about. <laughs> this is a really bad Z-Mon. 
However, I have it. Maybe, like, maybe I'll ring some some weird stuff. But uh, Z Zygar 10%. The other Zmon is a uh, Thunderous Eye, which is all right because it is fast and it has good coverage. So I will definitely take that. So Crobat, next mon. Um, it's I like this mon. It's fast. It's bulky, and it's not too passive because it gets stabbed. Brave Bird. Um. Another Hazemon can be nasty plot to set up, but uh, this main utility comes as uh, support because like we get Super Fang for uh, to just chip away at everything, Tailwind for speed support. My team loves the speed support. Uh, taunt, uh, great move. It's overall just prevent setup. This is a good anti lead. Uh, U turn to just get out of there. I love it. Um. We we do technically have priority in quick attack, so there's that. It gets roost, so reliable recovery. Overall, it's just a solid mon. It's a really solid mon. All right, Rotom Mo. So uh, this it's a Rotom. Uh, it's got two typings that I already have. However, it has a different role. Uh, like Rotoms, another Thunder Wave support. It gets Will Wisp as well. It's a s bulkier, slower Volt Switcher, which I uh, like. Is great. Is great. We we tech we have Sucker Punch. Probably never coming, but we have it. Banded Sucker Punch. Um, Leaf Storm is this Rotom's special move. So there's that. Um. Good coverage. Oh, I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's just a Rotom. It's got the same stats as every other Rotom. Good defense, good special defense, good special attack, and then bad HP. So, we have a Rotom. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Miltank. Uh, I love Miltank. It destroyed me week three of the SBL. It like mm, death. This is death. So it's uh, it's fast for a wall. It's got a hundred base speed, ninety five HP, and a hundred five defense is pretty good. Scrappy means we can uh, hit the ghost types with our normal moves. Sap Zipper to be grass immune. Excuse me, and uh, thick fat so we can just take less damage overall. Um, yeah, overall. Miltank is a really solid mon. It's good defensively. It gets body slam to paralyze. Milk drink for reliable recovery. It sets up rocks. It's overall just like a really solid mon. If like mm, I like it. I like it. That's there's not much I gotta say. Just a solid defensive mon that isn't passive. So Next mod. Uh, this was actually a FA transaction I made. Um, originally, this was Swampert, but for who knows why, for Alligator wasn't taken. And I was like, okay, for Alligator isn't taken. Why? So I traded out Swampert for for Alligator. For Alligator is a scary Dragon Ant Sweeper with Life Orb, Sheer Force, with Stab, Waterfall. Thank you, Showdown. With Life Orb, Sheer Force, uh, with first Stab, Waterfall. Um, it gets Rock Slide, I believe. Yeah, it gets Rock Slide. It's overall oh, just a really good mon. It gets Superpower. It's a, it's a setup sweeper, basically. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh my god. Overall, it's just a really solid mon. It gets like ice punch too. It's yeah, it's good. This will be my main uh, setup sweeper. I do have others, but this will probably be the main one I use for setup. And uh, 
yeah so for alligator really solid it's bulky and it's got 105 attack which isn't too great however with life orb sheer force dragon dance it's uh it's really high so last mon this was like the last round and uh didn't have a fighting type this was, I think, the only good fighting type left. Well, not good. You know, the only, uh, decent. Um, so, Sock. A lot of people probably don't like Sock. I do. I use this thing in, uh, NU all the time. Well, in Gen 6 NU. And, uh, okay, it is a monster. It's got great attack and it's got good speed and uh, its abilities are good it's got mold breaker and sturdy which means if I go against like uh, a Rotom I can earthquake it with mold breaker if I go against a Pukumuku I can go through the disguise with poison jab it's got taunt like just a pretty solid move and it's got stab close combat it can bulk up it's got good coverage and uh, with Sturdy, what I can do is run it Choice Banded, bring it in, it will take any guaranteed hit with Sturdy, and then kill something with Banded Stab, 125 base attack, close combat. That's, it's overall, it's really an underrated mon. It's for a last round pick for a fighting type, like, Sock is really good. I'm glad that this is on my team. It's it's also a base 85 speed, so it's not terrible. I can outspeed walls and still just, like, destroy them with uh, close combat. Um, yeah, it's overall great moveset, great attack, and good abilities. I like this mod a lot. I'm glad I have it. I've never used it in the league, but uh, I'm glad I have it here. So, uh, that is going to be it for the NPC team. So, um, yeah, overall, um, I think it's a really solid team. The only bad thing I have is uh, I have Tapu Fini, but then I have a lot of mons that want to status other Pokemon, like Thunderous, Rotom, Bill Tank wants to get those Body Slam Paralyzes. And, uh, but other than that, you know... We may be lacking, like, a straight wall, but overall, nothing, like, well, not nothing, but not many things on this team are frail, you know. Thunderous and Zygarde are the only, like, frail, frail things. Everything else, you know, it can take a hit. It can take a hit. Darm, it doesn't have good defense or special defense, but it has good HP, you know. It's not frail. It's not bulky, but the other bad thing is it's not the fastest either. I have Thunderous, Crobat, and Zygarde. That's my speed. Um, I may make one more FA to switch it. it it'll probably if I do. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to get rid of anything. If I if I do, it'll probably be Decidueye. But uh, overall, Decidueye is a really solid mon. But uh, that is going to be it for, for you guys. Um, see ya.